In this video, I will show you how to set up the program for Ethernet communication between two micro 800 controllers. So I have controller A here with IP address 192.168.060 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. And on controller B, I have IP address 192.168.070 and the same subnet mask as controller A255255250. For controller B, the only thing we need to do is to create two variables. This variable, the, stuff, the first variable is to receive data from controller A. And the second variable here is to write the value or write data to controller A. Okay, I have the initial value as 123.123. Let's go online with controller B. one two three point one two three we can change the value here to let's say three four five point six seven eight and but you cannot change the value or data for this type of variable here because it's actually for controller a to write on controller b okay but we can try. Uh, you can type in any number, but it's not going to take it. So this value it return from controller A. That's all we need to do on controller B program and on controller A. Supposed to be master one. We will have the we have the read and write instruction. Okay. So uh, to write that, uh, we we're gonna have copy instruction and MSG or message CIP symbolic instruction. Either write or read that, uh, you will need to have both uh, COP and uh, message CIP symbolic instruction. Why we need the copy instruction here? Because we can go to F1 for help. Because the message symbolic, message CIP symbolic instruction only takes unsigned integer as an array. It can be uh, one, two, three, up to I think 490. Uh, elements on the array, but it's not going to take any other data type such as real or double integer that we typically use throughout the program. That's why we have to have a copy instruction. With this copy instruction, we will convert the regular real double integer or any data type to a uh, unsigned integer. In this case, we have real, you know, real data type have uh, 32 bit. That's why we convert, when we convert it to uh, unsigned integer, which has only a bit. Let me show you. The, uh, Unsigned integer, unsigned integer have only a bit. That's why we need to have an array of four elements for unsigned integer. So a times four is thirty-two. We need to make sure it cover the whole uh, real data type as thirty-two bit. And then 
after we convert it to unsigned integer, we put it on the message CIP symbolic instruction to send it to the other controller. So for the right instruction, we're going to have this control configuration. Um, we can leave here blank, blank, and then for the trigger type, we will have 300. It is for um, for the instruction to be triggered every 300 milliseconds. And for the symbol configuration, we're going to have one is to write data. And right here, symbol. It's actually the type of variable that it will write the data on controller B. Or oh, this type is on controller B. When controller A, uh, when controller A is running, it will send the data to this type on controller B. And 202 here is actually from this table here. Okay. 202 because we have real data type and the last one we can leave it blank and for the target configuration uh, we're going to have for is for internet port and comma 192.168.0.70 which is the IP address of controller B then one is for class 3 connection and then these two we can put zero and the last one we can leave it blank. This is the unsigned integer that we converted from the value to write. So th this value to write basically is like a transmitter reading or um, can be uh, from the analyzer or anything. Okay. So this is for the write instruction. For the read instruction, we're going to have the same thing, but the other way around. So we're going to receive the unsigned uh, integer first, right? So okay. this is the unsigned integer that Controller A will receive back from controller uh, from controller B. It's not really. It's controller A will receive. Uh, uh, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so we have control configuration. It will be the same as the first one as the right instruction with. Playing here, playing there, in the middle, we have 300 for the instruction to be triggered every 300 milliseconds. And symbol configuration, we will have. Okay. This is the actual tag on controller B that controller A will read. Okay. But when it after I process the data received from controller B, we put it on the unsigned integer with this tag right here, raw data received. The uh, 202 is the same real data type on the table, real data type 202. Okay, so the target configuration should be the same because we look at the same controller B for then the IP address of controller B and with 70, then one is for class three connection zero zero and playing on the bottom. Okay, uh, so after we receive the data from controller B, we will convert it back to real data type with the second copy instruction. Uh, this is an, uh, an array of unsigned integer of four element. So we convert an array of four element 
inside integer back to a uh, real data type of 32 bit so you have a a time four thirty two right and uh, let's run it okay so we are now online with controller a as you see this is the data that we will we write on controller a but will be sent to controller b we can write something here a that's it one 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 point two 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 remember this we enter from controller b and controller a read it So we receive the data from controller B for the read instruction. See, it's just the, in this case, it's just a real data type. It like uh, some transmitter reading from uh, controller B sent back to controller A, right? And this value we write on controller A and then we will go to controller B check. So let's go back to controller B and go online with controller B. Okay, so you now online with controller B and you see this data this data you just type in on controller A and controller B already receive it. It's just a real data type. That's it. Thank you for watching.